Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the pheochromocytoma. What is pheochromocytoma? The pheochromocytoma is a tumor of the adrenal medulla. We know that adrenal gland has two parts. Outside we have the adrenal cortex. Inside we have adrenal medulla. And this is a tumor of the adrenal medulla in the adult. This tumor secretes catecholamine, usually more norepinephrine than epinephrine. Usually, the, this adrenal medulla should secret more epinephrine, but in case of tumor, that is usually altered and more norepinephrine than the epinephrine. <coughs> There will be episodic or sustained hypertension. Hypertension may be episodic or it may be sustained. There will be palpitation. There will be high heart rate, tachycardia, and diaphoresis, a lot of sweating. There may be pupillary dilatation because of sympathetic overactivity. There will be tremor and sense of apprehension. The hypertension in this patient is correctable by surgery. So if we look at this tumor, we we'll look at this tumor here. This is the tumor. This is the adrenal gland. And this is the tumor of the adrenal medulla. And this is the part of the remaining part of the adrenal gland is here. And this adrenal tumor has hemorrhagic site here. There is some hemorrhage color is gray and pinkish color here and this size may be variable it may be few centimeter it may be several centimeter it may be few gram it may be several kilogram in weight okay so we have to for our memory we have the rule of 10 what is the rule of 10? In 10% 10 cases, it is extra adrenal. It may be in the sympathetic ganglion. It may be even in the carotid body. In 10% cases, they are malignant. And in 90% cases, they are benign. 10% cases, they are familial. So that may be an autosomal dominant pattern in 10% cases. There is mutation in the red proton cogen, and this pheochromocytoma may be a part of multiple endocrine neoplasia type 2, a multiple neoplasia, multiple endocrine neoplasia type 2b may be a part of the von reckling hosens disease or stars weber syndrome or von hippel lindau syndrome. So there may be mutation in the red proton cogen. 10% cases, it may be bilateral. 10% cases, it occurs in the children. 90% of pheochromocytoma occurs sporadically. 10% due to mutation. Incidence is 0.05%. So it is a rare disease. Adult at the age of 40 to 60 are the are the mostly affected individual at this age group. Okay, so there will be paroxysms of hypertension or it may be sustained hypertension. The paroxysm hypertension is precipitated by emotional stress, exercise, changes in posture and palpation in the region of the tumor. So elevation of blood pressure may lead to heart failure. It may be congestive heart failure, pulmonary edema, myocardial infarction, ventricular fibrillation, and it may lead to cerebrovascular accident or stroke. From the pheochromocytoma, we have the secretion of norepinephrine, epinephrine, but there may be secretion of other proteolytic hormones like that of adenocorticotropic hormone or somatostatin on rare occasion. So this is the 
imaging of the abdomen we are seeing this this is the tumor here this is the this is the fibromocytoma here on the right side okay this is the fibromocytoma of the right side here is the this is the liver here liver this is the aorta here this is the liver here this is the aorta okay this is the vertebral body we got another kidney here okay so this is the adrenal medulla tumor that is the pheochromocytoma this is the pheochromocytoma okay if you go to the histopathology then we find out large polygonal cells with round nuclei it may be spindle shaped cells with clear or finely granular cytoplasm and we cannot see the cytoplasmic granules by hematocytin use in stain but by electron microscopic image we can see the catecholamine containing granules inside the cell the cells are arranged into nest called gel bellum so they make nest of cell that is surrounded by connective tissue and and also the supporting cell called sustentacular cells and we call it the gel balloon these are the nest of cell this round cell or chip cell here that is associated with pheochromocytoma we have connective tissue stroma containing blood vessel here these are the blood vessel okay so and also we, we may get in our histological image some giant cell and bizarre cell it does not necessarily mean this is a case of malignancy even a benign tumor may progress to the capsule may go to the blood vessel once the the tumor goes to other organ like that of the liver or to the lymph node then we can call that is a metastatic cancer of the adrenal medulla that is a malignant pheochromocytoma that is only present in 10 percent cases so we'll get this type of giant cell or the bizarre cells okay so what is the differential diagnosis it may be hypertension essential hypertension we don't know the exact cause sometimes the cause of essential hypertension carcinoid anxiety disorder amphetamine abuse cocaine abuse pyrotoxicosis okay so what how can you diagnose this patient with pheochromocytoma an adult person with sudden blood high blood pressure and if we do some test you can diagnose it lab test 24 hour urine collection for metanephrine there is a metabolite of the catecholamine and bma benzyl mendelic acid that is a further metabolite of the epinephrine norepinephrine it should be collected from from the 24 hour urine catch and we have also clonidine suppression test to assess the level of norepinephrine in the system. We can assess the patient as whether pheochromocytoma or not. Imaging study, abdominal CT, and MRI are the gold standard. Okay. Treatment, we must know the treatment. Preoperative stabilization by phenoxybenzamine followed by surgery it is a surgical case it should be removed surgically so once it is removed surgically a lot of patient will be free from hypertension or hypertensive episodes but before surgery we have to stabilize the patient by phenoxybenzamine that is an alpha blocker this will preclude hypertensive crisis that can result from manipulation of the tissue during surgery okay so 
that's all about the phacromocytoma its pathogenesis uh, its histopathology and demographic and also the investigation lab test and certainly the treatment and please support my channel please share the information with your friend if you have any question please feel free to ask me and again please subscribe me have a nice day bye now